This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction The Soul Selects Her Own Society is a poem written by Emily Dickinson in 1862. The poem has three stanzas with four lines in each stanza. It engages the slant rhyme of ABAB in each stanza. Lines in this poem have two units. The poem presents a character that is the soul and another represented by the divine majority. The poem dramatizes the actions and effects of the soul on the society. This poem's central theme is exclusion, demonstrating aspects of rhyme, imagery, and great symbolism. The soul selects her own society. The poem The Soul Selects Her Own Society illustrates the aspect of choice and exclusion as per an individual's inner and superficial composition. According to the presentation, the choice involves selecting the individual's liking while also locking out the rest. Then Shuts the Door illustrates the theme of exclusion and closure of the door. As shown by the statement on her divine majority, elimination of a variety of alternatively good options stresses the element of choice and exclusion. The soul chooses to uphold its selection of solitude. The authority to choose consciously, as brought out by Select in this poem, depicts the soul. The soul is immovable upon her selection, and no further alteration of choice can be made. Obtrude no more. The presence of chariots and emperors at the gates of the soul highlights reinforcement of the solidity of the soul. The speaker in this poem dramatizes that the presence of chariots and emperors, notably regarded as influential, cannot sway the decision of the soul. Statements such as unmoved, like stone and an emperor kneeling, demonstrate rigidity of the soul. The soul stresses as paying no further attention according to then close the valves of her attention. It is evidently vivid as per the speaker's illustration that elements of choice and seclusion are the most outstanding themes in the poem. The themes allude to the real situations that individuals face during decision-making. The firmness of sticking to the choice is emphasized by the speaker in the poem. The poem acknowledges the presence of other persuasive forces that have the ability to deter one's process of decision-making. Symbolism is evident to a great extent in the poem. The gates, doors, and stone are to a larger extent, standing to represent the closed impression or attitude directed towards attachment to compelling or persuasive forces that challenge an individual's decision. The speaker illustrates the soul as having selected a single option from the ample nation. It symbolizes the variety of alternatives available for selection. The persona uses chariots and emperor in this context to symbolize the esteem and compelling power held by left-out society. Capitalization of words in the poem, such as soul, society, door, majority, chariots, gates, emperor, mat, one, valves, and stone, does not come out as an error, but the speaker of the poem dwells mainly on them in bringing out the message. This symbolizes their importance in this context as intended. The tone of the persona portrays solitude. The choice of a single one option, in contrast with the presence of other choices, symbolizes the upholding or content of maintaining a sole choice by locking out the rest. Rhythm is available in the poem in the form of ABAB in each stanza. The author injects flow and creates an appealing relationship with the reader through rhyme. Stanza uniformity is also enhanced and serves to impress the reader. Imagery, in this poem, reinforces the critical statement that the author intends to bring to light. The use of gates and doors shows the firmness of the decision made by the soul. It is the nature of gates and stones to be strong so as to limit entrance. It is in this light that the author has incorporated the two into the poem. Chariots are viewed as the grandest means of transportation, and emperors are considered to hold a considerable amount of power. The worthiness of the two is an imagery impression intended to show the strength of persuasion directed to the choice made by the soul. However, the speaker underlines them as lacking the might to sway the choice made by the soul. An image of an individual rejecting offers to influence her choice is created in the mind. The use of imagery in this poem alludes to the impressions likely to be encountered by individuals in making an affirmative choice.
it intends that the grandest offers cannot swing the reader to the opposite of his intentions. Divine intends to create an impression in the reader's mind. It shows the alternatives as not being at fault morally for failure to be selected. The reader associates divinity with being clear of blame. Conclusion The poem is visually appealing to the reader, with short statements with hyphenation characterizing the poem. However, the author intends to air the message even with the limited selection of words. In an effort to achieve that, the author incorporates writing techniques and uses imagery and symbolism in the poem. The wording of the poems is systematic so as to present the message in order and systematically. The use of rhyme serves its purpose as it appears in each stanza. Sound effects and visual patterns show considerable effectiveness by the author in the poem The Soul Selects Her Own Society. This essay on The Soul Selects Her Own Society by Emily Dickinson was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.